Hi, this is Lander Smith from Sense Memory, and it's Friday evening in San Francisco on July the 4th, and it's time for another cocktail. To, uh, tonight's cocktail is something called a uh, cranberry summer, and the ingredients are three fourths of an ounce of vodka, three fourths of an ounce of Cointreau, uh, one and three fourth ounces of uh, cranberry juice, one and three fourth ounces of uh, cloudy lemonade, and I put a little splash of limoncello in there to make it more interesting. Then uh, um, add a garnish of your choice. I put a, a lemon peel, which is kind of getting a little tired and falling off there, and um, cherry and a couple of slices of uh, mandarin orange to make it interesting. Uh, it's a cool, summer, crisp, delicious drink, perfect for summertime, and mmm crisp and cool and perfect cocktail for summer. Now you may notice I'm wearing a sweater, even though it's July the 4th, but here in San Francisco, fog is the name of the game, the order of the day, and we're going to definitely be having a lot of fog out. It's cool, or it's quite crisp outside right now, and a little cool in the house, so that's why I'm wearing a sweater. <laughs> We're going to be uh, exploring two new fragrances by the uh, Italian house of Acqua di Parma. And uh, they are I mean, Acqua di Parma's um, Colonial Leather Eau de Cologne Concentrate. And the second one will be Acqua di Parma Blue Mediterraneo uh, Junipero di Sardinia. Now, um, these were given to me by uh, the uh, sales associate uh, at Barney's to try out, and um, his name is Michael, and he's really a wonderful guy. And if you're in the Bay Area, definitely go to Barney's uh, Union Square here in San Francisco and ask for Michael. He's just a great guy. And so let's start off with the, uh, with the leather. Um, it's a citrus leather, which is an interesting combination, and uh, it's a romantic marriage of traditional uh, Aqua de Parma citruses and um, the ri a rich aromatic leather. It was created in 2014. The top notes are Brazilian orange and Sicilian lime. The mid notes are rose, pedigrain from Paraguay. Just two notes there. And the base is a leather, a guayac wood from Paraguay, and uh, atlas cedar. Now, atlas cedar comes from the Atlas Mountains in Morocco. Now, um, you either get your cedar from, uh, usually from, uh, the Atlas Mountains in Morocco or from uh, the Virginia Cedar in Virginia in, in the United States. So let's try it and see uh, what we think, or what I think. So here we go. Definitely get the, that wonderful classic um, Aqua de Parma citrus blast in the beginning. really is oh, quite fresh and and yet complex because it, up, up comes the leather, it's coming up, the leather's coming up, it's quite rich and bold and masculine. This uh, is really a an unusual mixture, definitely Definitely a, a, a classic masculine um, scent that I think uh, fits right into the Aqua de Parma line and really is a, a beautiful representation of, of what they can do. Definitely takes me back to, to Italy and, oh God, the smell of, uh, of Florence. Florence smells like leather. There, I walked down the street and there are leather... Uh, stalls open in the markets, in the open markets, and they're, of course, Ferragamo shoes, and just Florence is famous for its leather. So this, this definitely places me right in the center of Florence. It's really a 
beautiful, beautiful scent. Brand new, and I definitely think it's something that you might want to try if you're uh, a, a, at all a leather fan. And also if you're a citrus fan, it's a wonderful marriage. Now, the, the next one is um, from the Blue Mediterraneo line. And as I said, it was uh, in, it's also introduced this year in 2014. Um, it is designed to inspire the memories uh, of the beautiful, rugged uh, island of Sardinia. Sardinia is just an amazing uh island off of the west coast of Italy, right and, below. Uh, this particular uh, fragrance uh, brings to mind the memories or the idea of this incredible rugged landscape. The mountains in certain parts of Sicily just come straight down into the sea uh, with incredible sheer cliffs. Uh, it reminds me of a film um, called Boom with Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton where they it's filmed in Sardinia and there was an incredible set of this uh, villa built in very modern uh, uh, minimalist style architecture uh, this villa built right on the cliffs with uh, incredible views out to the, to the sea and uh, uh, unbelievable drops a thousand feet down it looked like maybe about 500 feet down to the sea really it's, a, it was, it's an amazing place but anyway let's try it and see if it uh, does bring to mind the I, um, memories of, of Sardinia Oh, I'm getting sage, incredible uh, sage. It's also a very fresh, summery scent, perfect for this time of year. Juniper, yeah, the juniper's coming through, bergamot. Yeah, sage and cypress are the, are the dominant notes that I'm smelling, and it is, again, this is, a, this is designed both for men and for women, but it really is kind of a butch masculine fragrance. Very, God, I, it'd be perfect for the beach. Just really, and yet sophisticated. I mean, it's beachy, but sophisticated, if that makes any sense. Um, imagine uh, being on a yacht uh, in the Mediterranean, and dressed for dinner, where only a few hours ago you were in your bathing suit diving off the end of the, the boat into the sea and swimming and just, it really is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So, okay, there we have it. My take on these two particular fragrances uh, by Aqua Department. Now listen, at the end of this month, something really special is going to be happening here in San Francisco and I'm going to fill you in on it a little bit later. But it's specifically for any of my followers uh, on my blog or here, that I live in the Bay Area. So stay tuned for that. I'll definitely be giving more information about that. Now the last thing I want to talk about is this wonderful book that I've been reading. I may have mentioned it before, but I just want to go over and let you know about it again. It's called Scent and Subversion by Barbara Harmon. And it is a history of perfume, of the 20th century. And it is just an amazing book. Um, and I can't uh, recommend it enough for people who are really interested in in perfume and learning about the history of where it all comes from in the 20th century from from Jicky all the way up to today and uh, it's just it's a great read um, Barbara's a, a wonderful writer and it, it's just something that um, anybody who really is interested in perfume should really know a little bit about the history of, of perfume and where we've been and where we're going so, in any case, always remember, wear what you love and not what they say you should like. This is Lanner Smith. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. This is and, um, the ri a rich aromatic leather. Um, it was created in 19, uh, 1914. <laughs> Definitely over-harvested in Lebanon. I may be wrong but that's what I... Uh uh, island off of the west coast of Italy, right below... Um Hi, welcome to another... Uh, baloney.